Hello, my name is Amanda Bruce. I am the Director of Music for the Southside Mount Washington Parish Grouping. And I'm Thomas Conroy, Assistant Organist and Director of the Adult Vocal Choir and the Bell Choir. And today we're here to speak to you about music. So we are making this recording before we return to weekend liturgies for St. Mary of the Mount and Prince of Peace parishes. But like a lot of things, things are looking a little bit different than the last time you stepped foot in these churches. In light of COVID-19, we have made a lot of safety precautions so that when we return to Mass, we are taking an abundance of caution to be as safe as possible, but also to still have a prayerful nature through music, through the liturgy. So just a few things as we start. When you walk into the church space, when you return for Mass, all of the hymnals have been removed from Prince of Peace and St. Mary of the Mount parishes. They have not been thrown away. They are simply removed and stored for now because it is a common space. It's a common item that is touched frequently. And so due to a safety concern, we have removed them temporarily. Also, in order to create some consistency for the time being, I will be playing weekly for the Saturday and Sunday Masses at Prince of Peace St. Adelbert Church and Tom Conroy will be up here at St. Mary of the Mount Church for the Saturday and Sunday liturgies. So in general, when it comes to a weekend Mass, the singing will be very minimal for now. The Diocese of Pittsburgh has encouraged minimal singing in because there are still concerns about spreading of droplets and particles through singing, which is known to be a, an activity that projects at a very strong level versus those who are just speaking in front of you. So for that reason, for now, singing and music in general is going to look different. So let me just paint a picture of what that's going to look like. So for now, there will be no cantors at St. Mary of the Mount or Prince of Peace parishes due to many concerns, most of all, the concern of health for our cantors. Also, in terms of the liturgy, there will be more organ music and piano music than what you're used to because this will replace hymns. So, for example, when the priest and the um, readers are processing in and the altar servers, for now we are beginning with organ music instead of a hymn. That could change within a few weeks, but for now that's where we're starting. For now, we're also reciting the Gloria and reciting the Psalm, but we do plan to sing the Alleluia at the Gospel. We can't necessarily encourage you to sing as fully as you normally do, but we do encourage you to sing in your hearts on the Alleluia as we prepare for the Gospel. From there, we plan to have either instrumental music during the preparation of the gifts, or Tom and myself will sing and play a vocal solo. Other than that, for now, the Mass parts will be recited. There is technically no communion hymn because communion, as Father Michael has described in other videos, actually takes place for now at the end of Mass. And so for this reason, there's technically no communion hymn. After communion is being, uh, well, uh, once Father Michael receives communion himself, he will have closing prayers and direct and instruct people how to receive communion. And so the closing hymn will actually, again, not be a hymn. It will be quiet, instrumental music as people come forth to receive communion and leave right outside whichever door is indicated at the exit as the exit for Prince of Peace and St. Mary of the Mount. Like we've said before this is subject to change. Uh, this could easily change in the coming weeks but we do have options for you to sing but again things just look a little bit different. We encourage you to check out our parish grouping YouTube channel um, we will put the link. Actually, you should be watching it because this is probably on our YouTube channel right now. Um, but we encourage you to check it out because we've put a lot of work and heart into the YouTube channel in the last couple of months. We have put up a lot of recordings of songs that Tom and I have done here in the space, as well as recordings from masses and a four-part prayer service series that Tom and I created called Scripture and a Song. We encourage you to check them out because they are simple 15-minute prayer services that include music that you should know very well. So we want you to keep singing, but we encourage you to sing from home. 
and hopefully in the coming weeks we hope to plan some type of sing-along opportunity for your favorite church hymns from home. So again, as Tom and I could probably say together, this is not the best case scenario. You know that our parish community loves to sing, and it breaks my heart to make this announcement, but more than anything, every action that we are doing right now is meant for your safety. And so I very much look forward to the day when we can go back and sing together fully again, but for now, we're just being a little bit more creative in how we can sing and praise God in our hearts.